verbally, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, I GDM in, yeah. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone. Hello everyone, I wanted to do something different in this video and take you along to this big foodie day my husband and I had at Fremantle Markets. Whether you're a tourist visiting Perth or a local, I really hope you enjoy this and add some of these spots to your list of places to try in Perth. I love visiting Frio because the atmosphere is always vibrant, there's always some type of live performance going on and I thought the best way to start the day was to have a little coffee at little boy blue this cafe is rated 4.6 on google it's located on south terrace facing the street and this cafe is open every day it's a small hole in the wall cafe which serves delicious coffee they also have bagels and treats but if you're planning to have a foodie day i feel like you have to be strategic if you want to try different types of food at least that's what i was thinking going into this big day of eating we visited Rugenic, which is a health food store and it's rated 4.4 on Google. They make their teas with locally sourced and sustainable and native Australian ingredients and are an all natural health food company. I really liked visiting the store because I could try all of the different tea flavors. We bought some for my friend who lives in Japan because we're visiting her soon and for Key's family because we're also visiting them later this year in Canada. So we wanted to get some local teas for them as a gift. One of the food stalls I always go to when I visit Frio Markets is What The Bao. It's rated 4.4 on Google and there are so many delicious flavors to choose from and I like that they're a perfect serving because you can just have one and it's just a snack or have a couple and that's more of a meal. They also have vegan options like teriyaki tofu and veggie delight. The Bao's are around 9 to $11 each. If you want to try some delicious Venezuelan food, you definitely have to visit Cachapas. This time my husband ordered the corn tortilla bowl which had meat, black beans, cheese, salad and salsas. And you can also pick which sauce you want. It is so delicious. I definitely had some of his dish and it was $18. Outside of the markets at the FOMO building, you definitely have to try Suku Frio. This was recommended by my friend and it was delicious, authentic Indonesian food. I tried the nasi bali, which is Balinese chicken rice, and it was so delicious. And I found the flavors were really unique and different from other Indonesian restaurants in Perth. The only thing I will mention is that the serving is pretty small for $17.50. I'm so keen to try their winter menu because I think they have some seasonal dishes. From what I can tell on their Instagram, they have soup dishes that I definitely want to try as well. Obviously, we have to have some dessert as well. You must visit the Sugar Artist. This is rated five stars on Google. It's basically Filipino butter buns called ensamadas, and they're super soft and are sweet dough pastries, usually covered with butter and sugar, then topped with cheese. This store sells them, but with a twist. There are definitely wait times for the flavors, but we're not usually fussed, and we were exploring the market anyway, so we could easily just come back to see what was available. You can make an order online and select store pickup, which is a great option, so you can get all the flavors you want. 
Now, if you have some more space for some more dessert, you definitely have to visit Honey Cake. This is rated 4.4 on Google. I personally love this cake shop. They've adapted the recipe of a classic Czech recipe, and you can even order the cakes online. The founders of this store are a married couple, and I love their story of fine-tuning a family recipe. They've really expanded, but I first discovered them at the Frio markets, and they also have a bunch of stockists if you're interested. They've really expanded their flavor flavor offerings. Now they also do honey miso jars, pandan coconut, caramel cheesecake, and more. We're back from our day in Frio. I bought one of the pandan and kaya ensamadas and brought it home because we were so full that I don't think I could have eaten any more food today. I am gonna have a bite because I wanna do a taste test. If you don't know what this is, it's a Filipino butter bun and they're usually quite sweet. They didn't have many flavors when I went because they were already selling out, but I'm super keen to try this pandan one. That seriously hits the spot. <laughs> it's not even too sweet. I was worried it's gonna be like too sweet and too sugary, but it's delicious. The balance is amazing. And you can definitely taste both the pandan and kaya flavors. Oh my god. My mom had to try this. She's Filipino and she loves ensamada, so. I'm gonna have one more bite of this and then wrap it up so Keegan will have some. And then I'll taste test the honey cake. Oh my god. I ate this honey cake years and years ago and I remember it being amazing. There were two flavors available when I went and it was the original or the pandan. Because I got the pandan and samada, I wanted to get the original honey cake. I thought it was super cute that they put it in this little box and they didn't charge extra for the box. It's adorable. It's just like one slice in this box. I'm just gonna have a bite. So this is what it looks like. I don't remember why I liked it so much. This is actually way sweeter than the ensamada, which I'm, I'm quite surprised about because Filipino desserts are always so sweet. Well, Filipino food in general is very sweet. So I was expecting that to taste a lot more rich, but this, this cake is definitely way more rich. One more bite. The texture is just so good. I like the crumble, but then like the creaminess at the top is delicious. Okay, I'm cutting myself off because I'm supposed to be sharing these with Key. That is a wrap on the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. It really supports my channel. I really love to create content for you guys, so it would really mean a lot if you could subscribe. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great week. Bye.